So along the road in my professional and personal journey to decode anxiety disorders, I was reading Dr. Bernie Siegel's book, Love, Medicine, and Miracles, and came across a line where he wrote, thought with emotion are chemical. And I thought, wait a second. So what you're saying is that if I'm having negative thoughts, then I'm causing a negative reaction, chemical reaction that is, in my brain. And then I said to myself, crap, which by the way is a clinical term as opposed to a singular syllable word, crap, which means poo-poo, but crap means, girlfriend, you're in deep doo-doo. So I said to myself, clinically speaking, crap, no wonder I'm suffering from depression and anxiety disorder. At that time in my life, 90% of my thought life was negative. It was in worry and morbid reflection about the past. So that one line in Dr. Bernie Siegel's book made a significant impact on the way I would recover myself and a profound impact on the way I would treat my patients in the future. So here are three simple ways to make brain chemistry change through thought. Number one, thought management. This is about thinking about what you're thinking about. Sounds easy enough, right? Well, not quite so easy. Thoughts can be quite habitual, and they are patterns that are sometimes hard to break, so this is going to take quite a bit of your attention. So if you're spending quite a bit of your time in worrying about the future, which is also known as future tripping, which by the way is another clinical term, um, it, or in worrying about the past, then you're causing one of those negative chemical reactions from your brain that's permeating through your central nervous system, stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Number two, creating your personal mantra. So a mantra is something that you would repeat to yourself over and over again. I suggest you create a positive affirmation mantra. And I'll give you an example. I'll tell you what mine is. Mine is, you're a capable, able, creative, loving child of God. So for your mantra, I suggest that you find whatever it is that is your best self, whatever you want to lead yourself with. Instead of leading yourself with worry or self-doubt or feelings of inferiority, Lead yourself with this positive aspect of yourself. I'm creative, I'm loving, I'm funny, I'm intelligent. So number two is creating a personal mantra and using it often. Number three, spend five to 10 minutes out of your day to consciously get yourself into a place where you can feel the emotion of awe and wonderment. I suggest that you do this by focusing on something that you find beautiful. Perhaps it's a flower, a child playing, a fine automobile, a grand structure, structural building, whatever it is that you find beautiful, take a moment to focus on that and ponder the magnificence of that structure or building or child, the, the miracle associated with that creature, that life gift. This is really bringing yourself into a state of meditation, and this is where real chemical change happens in the brain. So there you go. Three simple ways to change your brain chemistry in a positive way, because thoughts with emotion are chemical. Thanks, Dr. Bernie Siegel. And now I'm going to be on my way looking for some beautiful flowers or maybe chocolate. Oh, chocolate sounds good. <laughs>